2015 has been an amazing year for the Weizemi Metal community. For the first time ever, Weizemi Metals have been realized in the lab. And not just one lab and one material, but multiple materials in labs all over the world. In this article, we study the special surface states of such a Weizemi Metal wire and show how they give rise to a chiral magnetic effect. A Weizemi Metal can be created from a Duraxemi Metal by breaking time reversal symmetry. This can, for example, be done by an internal magnetization. We have another control knob. We can break inversion symmetry by strain, shifting the cones in energy in opposite directions. So far it seems, a Weizemi metal is simply a three-dimensional version of graphene. But if we look closely, there's actually a lot more to a Weizemi metal. The low energy physics is described by chiral massless fermions. This chirality leads to remarkable physical observables, such as a huge negative magnetic resistance and the chiral magnetic effect. If we apply a strong magnetic field, the chirality reveals itself in the Landau level spectrum. The lowest Landau level is chiral. It disperses only along the magnetic field. If we set the Fermi energy to be at the Y point, we see that each Vicon by itself carries a net current. This current is cancelled by the current of the other Vicon. Therefore, in equilibrium there is no current flowing. If, however, we apply an oscillating strain, shifting the wire cones in energy fast enough to overcome relaxation, then we will get an oscillating current, which is the chiral magnetic effect. Unfortunately, it is quite difficult to oscillate strain in a laboratory. What is much simpler is to fix a strain and oscillate a small magnetic field. We find that in this case, there is also a chiral magnetic effect. But in contrast to the conventional chiral magnetic effect, this is not a bulk, but a surface current. This is the chiral magnetic effect without lambda levels. We consider a Weizemi metal wire of diameter W, which is translation invariant in the set direction. This is also the direction in which the vicons are displaced in K-space. The remarkable feature of this wire are the surface states. The circle around the wire in one specific direction, the chiral. This surface state can be populated by applying an oscillating magnetic field along the wire. They are extremely sensitive to the magnetic field because they encircle the entire flux. The magnetic moment scales with the diameter of the wire. If we break inversion symmetry, the surface states acquire a dispersion in the set direction. They now spiral along the wire. Therefore, the surface states have the shape of a solenoid and carry a significant current along the wire. In equilibrium, this surface current is cancelled by a bulk current in the opposite direction. In a non-equilibrium situation, however, due to an oscillating magnetic field, these currents no longer have to cancel. In the low frequency limit, we can calculate this current using a formula that is very similar to the Landauer formula. We consider the wire as a quasi one dimensional waveguide with modes propagating in both directions. Depending on the magnetic moment, the oscillating magnetic field gives rise to an effective chemical potential for these modes. Each mode contributes E over H per unit energy to the current. One now has to sum over all the modes and take into account in which direction the modes propagate. The population of each mode is controlled by an effective chemical potential, which is given by the magnetic moment times the amplitude of the magnetic field. And finally, each mode has a certain transmission probability. In the ballistic case, we find the surface current has the remarkable universal value E over H squared times the cross section of the wire times the inversion breaking strain times the amplitude of the oscillating magnetic field. Up to a minus sign, this is precisely the same value as the conventional chiral magnetic effect. 
there is a deep connection between the two current magnetic effects. If one starts from a wire semi-metal wire and slowly turns on the magnetic field, one sees that the surface states that form the wire solenoid move into the bulk and form the current Landau level. 